special treat this morning to start off the new year. Um, Leanne usually reads us a poem on Wednesdays. Obviously, we couldn't do it on Wednesday this week, so she was offered to do it today. So a few words of Torah from Leanne Shamash. And this is called Write a Poem. Write a poem about beginnings and write a poem about endings. Write a poem about what was, what is, and write a poem about what can be. Write a poem of one creator and write a poem about universes. Write a poem about individuals and write a poem about a nation. Write a poem about ladders and write a poem about coats. Write a poem about sacrifice and write a poem about love. Write a poem about siblings and write a poem about jealousy. Write a poem about dreaming and write a poem about revenge. Write a poem about stars in the sky and write a poem about promises. Write a poem about slavery and write a poem about power. Write a poem about transitions and write a poem about wanderings. Write a poem about life and death and write a poem about crossings. Write a poem about mountaintops and write a poem about law. Write a poem about clouds and fire and write a poem about forgiveness. Write a poem about complaints and write a poem about complainers. Write a poem about golden calves and write a poem about anger. Write a poem about what is permitted and write a poem about the forbidden. Write a poem about limits and write a poem about the punished. Write a poem about us and write a poem about them. Write a poem about spaces and write a poem about distance. Write a poem about innocence and write a poem about guilt. Write a poem that exonerates and write a poem that incriminates. Write a poem about satisfaction and write a poem about when it is never enough. Write a poem about punishment and write a poem about blood. Write a poem about miracles and write a poem about darkness. Write a poem as a declaration and write a poem as a question. Write a poem about blessings, write a poem about curses. Write a poem about kindness and write a poem about yearning. And leave a space for that which is not yet written and leave a space for that which was forgotten and leave a space for that was not forgiven and leave a space for that which is blurry yet and leave a space for listening and leave a space for future generations and leave a space for learning and leave a space for those who came before upon whose shoulders we rest and leave a space for those after us and leave your poem for them. Beautiful, thank you so much, Leanne for again, bringing our hearts and our feelings through Shira, through poetry, into all of these very, very poignant dimensions of life. Kati Matova.